You're listening to the Beretta Brothers. Two of us. For best results, use both ears. Oh, the music stopped. Oh. It's always in me. It's always within me. Well, thanks, everybody. Great seeing you. Thanks for all the questions. It's been great. Another Thursday live event with you. We'll see you again in two weeks. All right. Take care. Bye. <laughs> Ain't we funny? <laughs> we get our last episode of Jeans Cool T-shirts. The Wheeze. Weezer, I'm st I'm well, using my standing desk today, so I'm gonna have to tiptoe now. Lovely group of guys, I'll tell you that much. Look how big this thing is. I, it couldn't have fit when you gave it to me. Maybe it fit me. <laughs> That's more like it. <laughs> yeah, tell them but, about this. Oh, it was. They were great. They were all really great, to, easy to work with, really fun. They all love their bits, you know. They're real collaborative, and the song well, was great. Was music video, yeah, you were on the music yeah. video with them. Music video, and uh, yeah, it was just fun to to do. Everybody That's was great. Song too. Yeah. Hey, my head. Well, look at all the peoples. There's Christina Beretta. I know her. Hey, boys, what's popping? She is so down, my girl. My girl is down. Uh, who's all here? Oh, Maria Nance explore. is here. Jonathan Sloman's here. Anime Girl 21 is here. Deborah Fourth is here. Koinga 23 is here. American Autistic is here. Sean Horace. Uh, J D D D who else? Uh, Aunt Sam Thompson 9. Marcello Bottaro. Maria, Maria Nance. Are you any relation to Jack Nance, the actor? Please respond. Please respond. Uh, okay. So let's get started. What do you got to tell us, Gene? What's exciting? Are we going to tell them right away what the big news is? <laughs> well, let's do our shameless plugs first. Get that out of the way. All right. Christina spelled Weezer wrong. Christina spelled Weezer wrong. She's going to be mad at you for saying that. <laughs> She's going to say, he is such a dick. It's right here. How, bad, how much easier can it be? <laughs> uh, oh, she remembers. They were nice. Yeah. Yeah. They were awesome. Shut up. You shut I see. Up. I see. <laughs> Christina and I are like real brothers and sister, brother and sister. We go at each other and we love each other. I'll say. Well, we, some, we go at each other. Let's leave it at that. Oh, you're in trouble. <laughs> you are so stupid. <laughs> uh, okay. Actually, let's start with the. Uh, uh, oh, she said, no, we are not. <laughs> Um, okay, so let, actually, let's start with who's on next Sunday. Okay. We don't need the plug. It's the same no, thing. No, no, go no, to no, GeneBeretta.com. No. Okay, go ahead. Start. Go to GeneBeretta.com and look at all of his cool stuff, his artwork, his books, award-winning books, and uh, 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 I don't know. What else? And go to TheBrettaBrothers.com. Yeah. Where are you? You can join our mailing list and you can go to our YouTube channel and subscribe. Our subscribers are growing and growing. Don't be left out. And uh, guess who's on next week's show? Well, guess who's on this Sunday's show? Yes, live this Sunday. If you can make it, hope you can. We got the incomparable stylings of Mr. Peter Lintz. Peter will be joining us, one of the loveliest human beings on the planet. Uh, and that so will be, be 5 p.m. Eastern, 2 p.m. Pacific. Correct. Yes, very good. We'll be putting that out in a graphic Mar form. Marshall yeah. Grover's asking, is it God himself? It's very close. It's Peter yeah. Lentz. It's, he looks more like Jesus. Yeah, know? well, depends, Any on who you're, depends on who you're calling God these days. <laughs> um, and then... Okay, well, when do you want to tell him about Tyler? P don't all right, Tyler. Yes, you'll be on. Don't worry. He's lucky. He's insulting our guests already. Uh, he's not even on. Peter, is there a way to block him? He's a hack. No, we have to have him on, or else he's just going to uh, torment us. We do what we do have you on on the list, Tyler. Some people. Yep. Very soon. 
Actually. We'll have our people actually, reach actually, out. We're, actually, we're going to have you on Sunday, but, you know, we got Peter. <laughs> <laughs> and he does a really good Tyler impersonation, so, you know. Okay. He knows I love Ask him. Peter about Rod Hull and Emu. Well, Jonathan, why don't you join us and ask him yourself? Yeah, do it yourself. Uh, what are yeah, we? Yeah, what are we, messenger you boys? You? What are we, messenger boys? Yeah, 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 yeah. Call you. Uh, don't do it yourself. He'll be here. We just told you that. <laughs> All right. Why don't we do a few questions before we announce our our show episode idea? Oh, all right. Uh, do we have any? When did you join? I'm going to draw. By the way, folks, look at this. Oh yeah, let's bring that up. I've got my pad all set. He's going to do some my sketching. Eraser. And Christopher, this is remember. I remember Christopher making fun of my old fashioned needed eraser. But awesome. But wait, I was about to do a thing. Okay, so. Uh, here's the question. When did you join the Muppets for the first time? Who did I guess is me, I guess. Uh, the first well, time I, <laughs> yeah. Gene, when did you first join? Oh, when did I? Well, my well, guess yeah. officially when I worked for Sesame street, which was like 97, 98. Yeah. Um, and I officially joined, I guess after dinosaurs, cause I did, and I can never remember. I'll have to check. But I can never remember if I did. I think I assisted on a Muppets home video, a music video, Kokomo. I think that's probably the first thing I where I was assisting or doing a background puppet. And then we did Muppet Classic Theater. And that was really, I think, when I started to get involved with Muppets. Well, do you not consider the dinosaurs Muppets? Or is just, did you break no. it up into categories? Okay, so that's more just Jim Henson, right? Yeah. Oh, sure. No, that's not Muppets at all. Right. That's the Jim Henson Company. Hey, this just in, Billy. What? I just got a news flash. I must. Do I have my? Oh, I have my messages open. How did I just get a ping? Guess who's going to join us on our next live Q and A on the fifteenth? Who? Oh, I think I know. Mr. Jay Foskett. Amazing cartoonist and illustrator. We asked him if he would jump on here with us and do some drawing with me. And he, just, he just he gave confirmed me it. Day. Yeah, I was mate. I was watching him draw. Was that yesterday? And uh, I don't know. I can't remember how it came up, but we were going back and forth a little bit. And um, I thought you guys should have a draw off. <laughs> no, I don't want to compete with him. He'll kill me. Come on, you got to have a draw off. Hmm. And. Uh, so be prepared, Mr. Fosgett. We're going to have to figure out how to get you and Gene's uh, drawing tables on there as well as your image. So let's figure that out. Questions. Uh, let's see. Um, what was it like having Don Rickles on Muppets Tonight <laughs> from Jesse? Well, I'll tell you, Jesse. It was nonstop laughing. I can tell you that. Also, sometimes very uncomfortable because... Some of his jokes are a little off color at times. So you don't know whether to laugh or you just laugh out of nervous energy <laughs> because he really does come at you. But then he's just the sweetest man and he, you know, kind of not really apologizes, but just tells everybody that he loves them and it's all in good fun. And um, so, yeah, so it was great. He was great. Easy. He also his... Um, he was very good friends with Anthony Quinn, famous actor Anthony Quinn, and his son, Anthony Quinn's son, Francesco, was a very good friend of mine and, and Jean's, and, um, who I met through my wife, Christina, but Francesco was a, in our, uh, my wedding with, with my wife. Well, yeah, of course, my wife was there <laughs> at my wedding. Um, but uh, anyway, during the show, he, I don't know, I guess I brought up Francesco and that we kind of had a little connection because he, I think he signed something for me that said, tell Anthony Quinn, uh, you're, you're good or some, so I don't know. I can't remember what it said exactly, but it was like, tell Anthony Quinn, you like pasta or some kind of silly thing. Um, here's, here's one for you. Yeah. Were you finished with that one? Yeah, I think so. A while ago. Dwayne Fletcher, Bill, you were talking about Nono as being very passive as a character, but why has he been a villain type character? Who's Nono? I don't know. I thought maybe you would know because I've never heard of Nono. Is that a typo? Is it supposed to be Bobo? 
Oh, probably Bobo. Yeah, that, yeah, because yeah, it's probably Bobo. But why has he been a villain type character? That's what uh, because, no, no. Because he um, he was written that way by people that I, I didn't have any real control over. Um, so I try to keep him as sweet as possible. I mean, the only times he's been a villain really is because he's he's under a villain. He works for a villain. He's not usually the villain. So he's more of a henchman who's just kind of lost. Um, and so actually in the actually in Muppets from Space, I was the one who said, why can't we have to redeem him at the end uh, with the gun and the and the bullets and you know working for for Tambor. Uh, I think it's yeah, something in the end where Bobo, I can't remember exactly how it ended, but we redeem him in a way. But yeah, so I, I've just always wanted to keep him more of an innocent. You know. uh, speaking of um, getting names wrong, I want to mm. show you something that our friend Stuart Reeves pointed out to me this week. When we, when you watch the subtitles on some of our shows, um, YouTube has their own way of translating things. So, I they gave me a new name. Uh, my name became Jane. Why is that? Get out of there. Jane. Oops. What I just do? I what, don't know. What, what? <laughs> Wait, what the hell? All right, let me start. Introductory to StreamYard. <laughs> anyway, they called I you Jane. Jane. And what, was, what I thought was funny is one of our viewers, Frank V. Tovar, said, say what you will about Dick the Shark, but Dick always has perfect elocution when speaking Gene's name. Gene. You don't want to bring Jean. him on anymore, do you? No, Gene. <laughs> I like to see Dick show up. Everyone's. I have my own. Um. Uh, okay. Let's questions. Let's see. Bill. Uh, you don't like this guy. And I've got a blue <laughs> version. He, he went out and bought shark heads. I know. Well, then he stopped doing the character. So that yeah. was a waste. By the way, everybody notice. The new location for Billy Puppet. <laughs> Billy Big Remember Nose. This hey, is, Billy uh, Big Nose. Our friend Jared Butcher. Butcher. Jared why the call Butcher. Him, why you call him Butcher? It is Butcher. It is? I thought it's Butcher. B O U. Oh, it is? Oh. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I thought it was I'm Jared the Butcher. Paint. I'm going to paint. I'm going to paint. <laughs> but isn't that beautifully made? I love it. Jared. His nose is very big. Accurate is the word. Here's a, here's a question. Frank Oz always talks about his rich backstories for his characters. Do you have any backstory for characters that we may not know about? Characters that you don't know about? Oh, stories you don't know about about your characters. No, it says, do you have any backstory for characters that we may not know? Oh, I see. They, they, uh, gee, I'm sure. But they're mine. Uh, I can tell you, Johnny Fiamma, well, this you would know because he, we did it, I guess, I'm up as tonight, but Johnny Fiamma lives with his mother, still lives with his mother, um, from Camden, New Jersey. Uh, I don't know. There's, there's all kinds of things. Depends on which character we're talking about. I don't want to bore you with that. Yes, the answer is actually yes. But that's kind of what fuels my characters, and so I don't always talk about them or mention them. Does that make sense? I mentioned sense? the draw. So you take over the questions while I start sketching. Very good, very good. We did this once before, and then Billy gives some kind of voice and character to... Uh, Gene, to oops, wait, sorry. Gene, do you have a Muppet you love to draw? Go ahead, draw. Did I love to draw? No. I, I drew Clueless for someone not too long ago. That was fun. You drew a lot of them for the Muppets from Space. You drew just about every one. Yeah, yeah for the storyboards. <laughs> um, yeah. Pepe's fun, too. Kermit was hard to get just because of the shape of his head. But And you're drawing quick all the time. Piggy was pretty fun to draw. Hey, Gene, you know what? Why? Check this out. 
What up? Get <laughs> <laughs> in the house. What boom. the hell? Boom. I boomed you. So now you're hacking our show? I'm trying, to act so, I'm, I'm trying to be so cool and everything. I got these sunglasses on. And I know I need my glasses because I can't. You you guys look black to me. I don't even know. <laughs> How like, do you, what, what do you mean? We look black. We are. What? What? Y'all, what? Y'all got some sickle selling you or something? What are you talking? You feel me? You feel me? <laughs> hey, what are you living in a tree house? What? Look at that. It's beautiful What's out that there. Behind you? Listen, I'm a flat. I'm a look, look. how fat I am. I can't get in that damn. <laughs> <laughs> the birds don't even come there. Honestly, hey, Kevin. Folks, we, didn't, we didn't anticipate this. How did this no, happen? No, you I did. Didn't, listen, you didn't anticipate you did? this. Yeah, oh, Billy. Uh, you did, yeah, this is a whole new thing that, that your brother's doing. That, <laughs> and you can do it too. You could surprise him. He surprised well, you this time. That's what I told him. I said, you do stuff. So this was my turn. Yeah, I usually I've, I usually surprise him in the openings and things like I've opened taking a bath and stuff like that. <laughs> Did you guys ever talk? About, I don't know, Bill. Do you know about this? That uh, Dave and Steve used to, they used to, they used to like surprise each other. They they had this Danish. Did you know that Danish? No, the Tabasco. No, it was a Danish. Oh, oh, so no, no, I didn't know the Danish. I knew the Tabasco. They were mailing everywhere, <laughs> and you know how bad that that Danish was. After the tenth time, but when they were in Toronto, we were in Toronto shooting. I think Jim Henson. Out, the Danish came to Dave, and it was like it, they didn't even know it was a Danish. But you know, they, no. they do stuff like that. I, I uh, we better. You know what, Kevin? I uh, he doesn't have a lot of time, Gene. He's got okay. a, he has a writing partner he has to connect with. But oh, excuse so me. Look, right? Don't you? I want to get you question you. I'm talking yeah, about. Listen, he's I'm on saying, the, the, the guy that that writer, my writer friend, is on the conference call right now too. So go ahead, do your thing. Well. Well, I'm just, I want to get to questions. I know people want to ask you some questions. So I just thought, okay. why don't I, before we, you know, run out of time with you. That's yeah, all. Yeah, because it's a hot, it's a, it's, it's a hundred degrees out here in LA. Chris, Christina is saying hello. Be, hi, beautiful Kevin. Hello, gorgeous. Uh, okay, let's see. For Kevin. For Kevin, what was it like working on Dog City in the uh, TV series? You know why, why it was great? Because Jim was directing it. Oh. And, 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 and having Jim direct you. Hmm. Was was beyond. It was amazing. Oh was wow! We had a great time. Uh, you know, the challenge was the the smoke that we were using on the set. Some of us got you know slight diarrhea. Oh really? <laughs> yeah. But well, that's uh, what dogs do. Yeah. Well, you know, hey, they they dogs go. Do. But no, it was wonderful. Do. It, was, it was wonderful performing in that. And you know, Jim gave me the lead. You know, ACU. And so that All was right. wonderful. Here's one for you. Nick okay. Kramer asks. Kevin, oh, since you worked on Captain Jean, Kangaroo. Jean, 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 thank you for that book. Oh, you're welcome. Good. Jean. Glad you got it. Thank you. Which one did I send you? See, he doesn't even know. Oh, Washington. George Washington Carver one. Yeah, yeah. see yeah, the garden yeah. of George Washington Carver. Glad you like it. Thank you. Does he uh, have the Ali you? one? You don't have the Ali one, do you? No. Okay, I'll send you that too. Thank you. You just have to ask. I might as well show it while we're talking about it. So it says, it says yes. from Nick Kramer, it says, Kevin, since yeah. you worked on Captain Kangaroo. Oh, my goodness, yes. Did you ever sing that song about sea lions? That's been that a while. Mean? No. I don't know what that is. No, well, there was a bunch of, there was a lot of music. There was a lot of music over the years on Captain Kangaroo. And um, that might have been the song that was done, but no. no. Right. Uh, here's let's see. Um, here we go, Kevin. Uh, from Soar and Entrepreneurship TV, would you ever return to the Muppets to perform Clifford with the sunglasses on? <laughs> <laughs> I would love to, but it, it, it you know, Disney, Disney has to you know let me do it, so I would love to. I would love I'm working to, on it, I'm working on it. I would love to come back and do Clifford with, with the sunglasses and everything. It, it was really funny trying to, you know, trying to be a part of the. Oh, no, you froze. Come on, don't do it. Don't do it. Let's see. What if I take him out for a second and then we'll add him again? Let's see. Come on. Come back. Come back. Come on. Oh, no. Maybe he's uh, refreshing. Let's see. 
Oh, is he coming I see up? something. Oh, he went away. Gone. Yeah. Uh, maybe he'll know to come back in. Try. Oh, dang, hold off on your Kevin questions for a second. Coming back in. That's a nice here surprise. Thank you. Here he comes. Here he comes. I think so. Yeah, here he is. I refer, Sorry, Kev. No, but awesome. uh, uh, what was I saying? Because you know I'm old. I just turned 60. Oh, oh we were, sorry. I took the question. The, here it is. The two of you. The two of you guys. Who? You and Gene. Really? When did you yeah. turn 60? Uh, September 17th. Oh, I beat you by uh, eight days. Oh my God, that's crazy. Am I yelling? Am I just yelling? No, you're not yelling. So, so you, we're working on it. We're trying to get Clifford. We're, we, oh, yeah. We, okay. we got to do some things. It's a little, Maybe. Fandangle. It's a little fandangling. Yeah. But, uh, uh, yeah, let's yeah, see. Character. How but, about. You guys, remember, you guys remember Spencer for Hire? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that that that's the, the 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 you know the, his counterpoint was the really cool black actor with an amazing voice. The counterpart of you know Spencer, <clears throat> that's where Clifford's personality came from. This really cool, you know, like higher oh. so was, was 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 the show that I thought, okay, that's Clifford. But what was really interesting having Clifford, Clifford was so more real, so more hip, that you know. It was interesting how he focused on the pit, on the, on the, on the Muppets. Yeah, you yeah. Know? Oh, they're cute. They're cute. Uh, yeah, that's cute. He, he could. He, he was like, "Oh, that's really cute." That's, that's <laughs> how I to go. It, it, it always kind of felt like he was an outsider, but he was a Muppet. But but you know, he looked at them as like, "Yeah, they're cute." <laughs> right, right. And and I I think it's interesting that the Soar Entrepreneurship TV points out with the sunglasses on. I know. That came from that came from us talking about it probably on your show. Sure, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, probably, yeah, yeah. And how it is amazing. I don't know. If maybe some people didn't catch that, but maybe you want to just talk about how something like that can change or alter your approach to a character that you've gotten well, used to. It's interesting being with Sesame Street for so long. You know, they had to Sesame Street for so long. They had to you know build new you know Elmos and Ernie and Berts and stuff like that. And I remember the the new batch of Ernie and Bert. I was like, wow, mm. because the nose was just slightly up a little bit, and it wasn't Ernie. You know, it right. was it, it, it was interesting when the simpler the character is, the more challenging it is to to duplicate it because right that could be one eye, you know, one pupil yeah. the wrong way, and it's yeah. not not Bert or it's not Ernie. You know, yeah. so that's the challenge when you when you have to duplicate. The, you know, the challenge, the, the nice thing about Piggy is she was molded, you know, with, 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 right. with, with and so you had the mold and she looked exactly, you know, you still but even she, but even she changed over time. Yeah. Oh, well, but that yeah. was design well, we, wise. Yeah. We won't talk about it. I love, I love, <laughs> I love, I love the original Piggy. This, this whole, you know, you, you should never change any of those Muppets. They, they should never be changed. <laughs> but once you do, you're taking it away from what Jim created. You know, you don't do that. That's the way right. I feel. Okay. Um, go ahead, go ahead. There you go. Your friend Tyler says, "Hello, oh. Kevin Hernan de Furnitz." <laughs> well, he should be saying that to Bill. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know what he's. <laughs> yeah, what's up? Hernan de Furnitz. Tyler, so drink. good. He must be drinking. He, you know, he. You know. He's so good. I can't wait actually to have him on. He's so funny. Oh, Tyler, come on. Yeah, <laughs> crazy. He, he, amazing, he does, amazing, talented guy. Amazing. My favorite thing, my favorite thing that we do when we get together is we do. He does Robert Goulet, <laughs> and I and I do a, like a bad Sammy Davis. But I just <laughs> I could riff all day with him. His his Robert Goulet is hysterical. It's the best. The funniest I gotta, thing. I got to get him to do that one for me. He's never done that one. Oh, <gasps> you've never seen Bob Goulet? I've oh never seen. I've never seen Tyler. Bob. Wait a minute. Hold on, Tyler. <laughs> what you going to put him on? That's I'm going to send him the Bring link. Him on. No, well, can you come do on. it? Tyler, well, come on. But how does he come on? Link? I got to send him the link. Yeah, hold on. Wait a okay. minute. All right, you well, guys talk, it's, it's and let me see if I can do this. So, right, so, cool. so, Gene, was this a big surprise? Yeah, very much so. We never have get. Well, we do have guests on this, but I just didn't expect it. I'm usually the one throwing the surprise in. It was like freaking because he was trying to figure out how to do it without you not doing it, what not knowing, and then he tried to call you to get the code. <laughs> so he wanted, he didn't want you yeah, to that's, know, so it was like, that's what. That's why I called you for the uh, the yeah. code. The, the, one of the funniest things I saw Tyler do it was in an outtake reel of one of the uh, 
the Elmo, uh, what was the one with Elmo's family? They were not, they, I don't even know what it was for now. Some home videos or something. Oh, no, no, no. It was, it was, it was, it was, it was, it was, was he was going military over. outreach. Oh, well, that he was, was Rose. No, he was Rosita's father in the wheelchair. You talking about that, Jane? Right. And so I have the outtake. Be careful, Jim. Be careful, Jim. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Is it okay? Like, I mean, it was it was in the moment. Yeah, and... I remember. I, I remember the PG one that was really funny because you, you, you know, Bill, you had said something. He said, "What can I do? I'm stuck in a wheelchair." It was like, <laughs> yeah, that's what it was. He wasn't getting onto the shot quick enough. <laughs> and like, I'm in a wheelchair. I mean, he was yelling. It was the funniest thing. So wait a minute, Tyler. I, I emailed you the link. So all you got to do is click on that thing and try and you'll see this. A screen should come up. Make sure you do it through Chrome. Right, I hope you're get, listening. That's a question for Kevin before Tyler comes on. Uh, yeah, sorry. Uh, Kevin, here's one from Jesse. Kevin, what was it like having Joe Pesci on Sesame Street's 25th anniversary special? <laughs> <laughs> we didn't talk about that, did we? When I was no. on. No. Well, did you, you know, he is like one of the original, like, he, he, his his background, you know, as far as Pesci is the Jersey Boys. Did you did you know that he was involved with he was involved with them and stuff? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Well, you yep. know, and so yep. and so when he came in, first of all, he was like, I don't know about this. I don't know about this. I don't know about this. Uh -huh. I don't know about this. And so you know, and so I was the one who had to had to had to meet Pesci with with uh this this little rabbit that I did. You know, this little. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. I'm gonna hang up. I'll hang up. Bye. And um. And so, and so he's like, "Hey, hey, hey, what you know? Hey, he was like, I mean, it was like I was in Jersey." Like, and then what happened is all his friends, not all of them, but but a, a bunch of them came. He's sitting on the street, the steps of one, two, three, and you know, beautiful Italian suits on, you know, huh. I mean, the shoes. Everybody, you know, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> it, was, it was such a culture shock. It was like. Hey, and you know, he got off the stick and they hugged and they jumped. Hey, look away, hey, look away. <laughs> did, I, did I tell you when I when yeah. I was in did I tell you when I was going to school in in New York? I was living in Queens, and um this friend of mine was a waiter, and he was Joe Pesci's understudy. Did I ever tell you that? No. So he was a Joe Pesci's understudy for um uh uh yeah, Goodfellas. Yeah. Oh, Goodfellas. Goodfellas! Oh, wow! And they were sh and they were shooting Goodfellas in in uh, Queens. Queens. Yeah. yeah. And I lived like I don't know, ten blocks or fifteen blocks away or something. Mm -hmm. So I went over to hang out and watch. And that it was like lunchtime. And they went to this church to have lunch in the basement. And it was pasta and all that stuff. But it was all these like guys, you know, who were in the movie, and they're right. talking about. They're like debating how somebody got killed. They were like, "No, you're wrong." <laughs> <laughs> You're wrong. He was in the trunk, and first they hit him with the thing, and then they shot. You know, it was like, no, nah, you don't know what you're talking about. They shot him first. Why would they hit him? You know, it was unbelievable. Didn't yeah. you bring? Didn't you? You brought Joe Pesci a jar of roasted peppers from our mother. Oh, yeah. that's wonderful. Yeah, I thought he needed a gift, so he brought roasted peppers. Sorry, it was so about wonderful. me. You know, it was so wonderful. You know, you get so many different celebrities yeah. on Sesame Street that that does it. Sometimes they do it primarily for their, their children. Some, you know, because they they have they have movies that you know they can't their kids can't watch, and so right. they have this, they have this like thing that they go you know, and it's like Kevin, he, look who it is. Hey, hi, look at Ben. You probably haven't seen him since he was like six or seven. Now, see, that's a surprise for me. That's right. There <laughs> you go. Uh, let's go here. Question. I get out of here. Oh, oh he doesn't have to yeah, leave, does he? Hair. Yeah, he does. He's on. A, oh, he's playing a video game or something. Let me see. Wait, this was. What happened uh, to Tyler? Uh, I said he's coming. Oh, uh, wait a minute. Sorry, where's that question I was trying to find? Uh, here we go, uh, Kevin. What was it like working with Carol Spinney? Can you oh, talk a little on. bit about that? Come on, Carol Spinney. No, you you come on. Come on. Oh, come on. Kellerific also asked that question, so we doubled no, up. It, it, was, it, was an, it was beyond an honor. It was beyond an honor. And actually, um, Debbie Spinney is my second wife. Mm -hmm. We always call it each other. Husband. Oh, there it is. Hey. <laughs> so, 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 so Kevin. 
Bob, <laughs> baby, it's been so Billy boy, Billy, how you doing, Billy? Bob, Bob, thank you. <laughs> give, give me some on a clear day. Give me a, give me some on a clear day. On a clear day. <laughs> Bob, you look great. <laughs> Kevin, I, I appreciate, uh, Kevin, you're going for the oldies, but I'm trying to be a mover and a shaker. I'm doing the, you know, doing the pop music action. Oh, okay, okay. Bob, can, you can, do, can you do If You Want My Body and you do that one? If you want my body and you <laughs> think I'm sexy, come on, maybe let me know. Huh? Come on. You got you to gotta stay with the times, Kevin. Listen, That's you right. got it. You got it. It's what I got, you got to get it. Put it in you. <laughs> <laughs> Robert Goulet has to come back. He has to come hey. back. To bring him back. Oh, excuse me, Bob. Sammy, babe. long time hey, no babe. see. Oh, sorry. Great. Oh. Oh, you're hysterical, and I mean that, man. Hey, do 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 that uh, Camelot thing you do. Camelot lounge I, <laughs> again. <laughs> Trying to stay away from the oldies. Want to define myself in the new time, oh, Sammy. Right, right. Do um in the name of what's that YouTube or in YouTube? The name they, of love. <laughs> Once more in the name of love. <laughs> Can you do eight mile? <laughs> 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 hey, hey Kevin, wait, I got a question here. Oh, oh no! It's, a, it's not a question. It just says Howard Tubman and Carter are back. Oh my god! That's crazy. <laughs> Carter. I don't even remember. His, I don't remember his voice. I don't think he ever talked. Did he? Of course he did. He was shaking he was, all the time. He, he was like he was like James Mason. I can't even remember. Don't you remember? He was like this, yeah. sir. You know, he was shake, like... shaking and. <laughs> I don't remember. I don't remember what he called you. I got to look at. That was a long called, time. Yes, sir. called Howard Sir, I think. Sir, Howard Sir. Hey, uh, uh, excuse me. I'm just curious, uh, Mr. Mr. Tyler. Yeah. You, why is it just a green wall there? Is this your house? It's just green. This This is my basement. Nobody's taught him how to use a green screen yet, yeah. so he doesn't know to put an image up there. Yes, we oh, yeah, you can. Know. We can you do that in this. Yes. We all know it's puppeteers. Image. We all have a studio now in our home. Yeah. You can yeah. actually do that, Tyler, real quick. Like, I've never, I've, I didn't know if you could do it in this particular. Yeah, it's in there. Go to okay. uh, settings. Settings, right. Green screen. Oh, you're going to put a background in? That's great. See green screen? See preferences. No, no, no. Oh, no not down, down, down in the bottom, there's like right. an icon that says cam mic. See cam that? mic, right. Yes. Yeah, Harry, I'm Click on that. I see. Oh, nice. Now do green Wait. screen. Don't get Tyler started there with special. It it's funny. And you can pick you can pick whatever. Nice. Okay. Thank you guys. Wow. Ashley Corey really has a question for thing. all of us. What would it be, right. Ashley? Yes, Ashley. Oh, Ashley, okay. Ashley. Ask away. Where is it? She has to bring it up now. You put it <laughs> now we gotta wait. She wanted to see if we first uh, recognized her and then uh here's something for Tyler. If you don't mind Kevin talking, Do we'll it. talk to Tyler a little bit. Hey. Hey, Tyler, take lovely it from me, baby, take it from me. Lovely episode on Below the Frame. Uh, oh, likewise, okay. likewise, Kevin, your Under the Puppet interview is wonderful. Well, that's lovely. You, did you oh. do Under the Puppet? Oh, there we go. That was that. Oh, that, from, was, that was that uh, was Grant. That was Grant. From years ago. Right. Yeah, Grant. Grant is wonderful. He he's been he's been my 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 right hand person over here doing some stuff with puppets here. He's very oh, talented, man. very funny guy. Grant. Grant. Do you know something about Grant? Do you remember when we did years ago, uh, Henson did America's Next Muppet? Well, and yeah, I heard about it. I wasn't involved, but I heard about it. Yeah. So I so I directed the thing, but what we did was we got uh Bruce and Leslie Doyle, Leslie Carrera. As, but but they pretend they they were like pretending they were new puppeteers, right? And yeah. Grant had no idea, and uh, several other, few other people had no idea. They were real contestants, and we just created this whole uh, kind of false reality of them auditioning to become the next America's Next Muppet. Right. And Grant, at Grant's actually the guy who won. 
Are you serious? Oh, he didn't wow. Yeah, yeah. About that. yeah. That's wonderful. He, he won the contest, and Piggy and Kermit and Gonzo were the judges, and Pee Wee Herm or uh, Rubens and David Arquette came on Paul, and did a Paul bit. Rubens. Paul Rubens, yeah. Here, I've, yeah. Got Ashley's, I've got Ashley's question here. We, oh. What's the favorite Muppet movie you have done in your life? I can start because I've only worked on one, so I'll have to say Muppets from Space. <laughs> All right. Next. I simply have to say uh, Muppet Treasure Island because I got to do so much. I got to do so much. I was puppet captain, and then I got to perform all of Frank's characters, and he had to, he had looped them later. Right. Um, and that was that was an honor. That was a, that was beyond an honor. Until he started getting you know, until he started going off on me. Why did you do that? Why did you? <laughs> I can't do that. What are, what are you doing? Yeah. How about you, Tyler? Oh, the ha 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 for well for me it'll be it would be the Disney Muppets just because I got to do so much the the first oh, right. the Muppets for Disney because um, yeah yeah the the first one I was was the first time I met you Bill was actually um, the last few days of Muppets from Space which I was this is that's weird. weird right I remember Muppets from Space yeah, yeah this is weird. weird I don't know if I what well, about I'm sorry you? say it again Kevin I said I only did a, I only went down a shot a week on that. Well, yeah, no, you only, you did the when we were at the house. Yes, I don't know how often I've actually heard Tyler's real voice. It's kind of <laughs> strange hearing that. Say something else. <laughs> it's up. Uh, this is how I talk, Gene. <laughs> <laughs> you know, as a, as, a, as a fan, as a fan of the Muppets, you know, before I got to work with them, um. One of the things that I remember that was amazing, I got to go to one of the premieres of uh, the Muppet movie with Kermit Love. Mm -hmm. He nice. took me to a premiere, and uh, <laughs> um, I cried the whole time. You did? Oh, yeah, especially at the end. What is what is he doing? Look at that. That's hysterical. Out. How did you get that close? Bring what? it closer. Come closer. <laughs> is that a potato? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Wait a minute. I'm How a potato, he... Kevin. He's How... a potato. How is he doing that? <laughs> <laughs> I can do it with, I can do Wait, it with my have, knee and eraser. Oh, now no. He's now he's a microphone. Now he's a microphone. Oh, frog. <laughs> the stuff you can do. <laughs> um, who's Willie the hot dog started. vendor? Who's oh, that? Billy, wait, Billy, Billy your favorite. Kermit Love played Willie the hot dog vendor. He actually played on. He played played a character on Sesame Street, also. Thank you, Nick Kramer. Thank Billy, you. your your favorite Billy, movie. Overly, Billy. Over, overacted. Oh yeah, that's great. Hello, my favorite, my favorite fruit, movie. Fruit for sale. Yeah. My favorite Muppet movie. Uh, boy, that's wow. hard. I don't know. Probably Treasure Island because it was my first wow. and. I got to drive around London with Kevin. Wait a minute. I'm changing my answer. I'm going to say Muppet Treasure Island because I did work on that. I did some background yeah. characters. Yeah. <laughs> so officially, yeah. Muppets from my, Space. But... My favorite part about Muppet Treasure Island truly was driving into work every day with Kevin. He, <laughs> Tell and, that. He, and Jerry, Jerry going off of me, like, who gave you a car? Right. Who well, gave you a car? I wish he would have told me sooner that he was... <laughs> was concerned about that because by the end of the sh of the film the the car didn't have a, mi a rear view a mirror on the right side no hubcaps, was no gone <laughs> the, hubcaps uh, were the sides were scratched and every morning religiously you hit that um the railing the <laughs> <laughs> and of course look tyler of course they gave me a white car oh it was a wreck well, at the end everything on it and th was this was but what this was, was that the camera? That camera was always, you know, Martin Baker was always getting stuff from tickets. Yeah. Tickets. And then, and uh, so, you know, being in London, I'm on the right side. So the cars are here. And so all day long, I, driving in, I would just be like this. Whoa. 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 <laughs> you didn't need coffee. Oh, my God. Here's one. Here's a question that I know at least two of you can answer. I'm not sure about Kevin. Look, Christine just said performed about the left side up. driving. Sorry. Has oh, no, I, I have a, you performed in Puppet Up, and Tyler has, haven't you, Tyler? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. It's as is kind of typically the case with, with uh, Bill lately. I only replace him, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> so technically, I did the show after Bill because he recommended me to replace him. By the so, way, by the way, will you do Pepe now, please? And uh, <laughs> and I think Johnny Fiamma would be a good fit. <laughs> I, I work on it, okay? <laughs> but, but Tyler, we were talking about, before you got on, we were talking about when you played uh, Carmen's oh. father who, who, you know, came back. You know, injured from from you know. What was his name? Ricardo. 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 He's still right. Ricardo. But you He's remember? Ricardo. He still makes up penis every now and then. Yes. Yeah, but Bill said something to you, and you said, "I'm in the wheelchair." <laughs> I wish well, I could show that footage because I had. Yeah. Oh well, he, well, I think it was just, "Come on, Ricardo, let's go." Yeah. And, and I would love to come, but I'm stuck in a wheelchair. <laughs> 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 real, real PC. Real PC off we, camera we, happenings. We did that have fun as the dads, though. So. That was we a real have, because Louis couldn't understand Ricardo no, at all. He, he would but he loved him. What? He huh? loved him. He was like, excuse what? me, come again. <laughs> what I what I said was we should take the keys for a picnic together sometime. We choo, who's yeah. we who's we choo? We we no we we you you and I you and I should take the keys to a, a picnic in the park gonna, together. All of us together. Kiss? You no, 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 no. gonna all kiss us, you, you, us, you, oh, me, me, <laughs> me, me and all I. Of us, all of us can honestly say we we were very honored to 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 be a part of oh. that, those home videos. You know, to oh to 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 honor, respect, and give back to the military. Yeah. That was that that's you know as much fun as we were having. We knew <clears throat> how important it was. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's the thing too. It was such an emotional thing. I think we oh, needed the. Sorry. Right. We needed to break that, yes. you know, the the heaviness of it because it was so important and so really serious. But we, I, we had, we were able to have fun. Oh, yeah. well, you had to. We had to break the seriousness. It's heavy. Well, it's heavy topic. Yeah. You and Fran, yeah. real, Bill. You and Fran. Wow. Oh, Franny. Was... Her ber belated birthday to our, our my birthday. girl. Really, your Where? girl, our girl. Yeah. Yesterday, I think wasn't it her birthday yesterday? No, so. uh, maybe two days ago or something. I, uh, oh my goodness, was it yesterday? So. I should have known that. She, that's my wife. She's fine. Oh, I can't do that anymore. Sorry, Tyler. That's your <laughs> wife. It's okay. That's again. I, I still. Uh, I am only there to temporarily <laughs> fill your shoes, good sir. <laughs> no, not temporarily. All right, you're in. Yes, you're sir. There. Sir, yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Uh, questions. Yes. Um, uh, how about what's this? Uh, please, please, Bill, Kevin, share Muppets Tonight memories with Frank and Jerry. Uh, well, Frank. Oh, my goodness. That was the first, like. Frank, remember when Frank, Frank, Frank fell? No. Oh, yeah. What happened? Yeah. Yeah. Tell, tell. I'm trying to remember because he was on this platform, and all of a sudden we didn't see him anymore. Wasn't that with Whoopi? Was that the Whoopi thing? I think with it all was. the jewelry and everything when they brought like all the diamonds from. Uh, I was our girl's best friend, I think, but it was something, yeah. But she actually wore a half a million dollars worth of diamonds. No, remember they yeah, had they came was, from Winston. What was what was, what was, what was the diamond? They had two security guards on both sides of it, and, and she would have to say, "I'm going to the bathroom. You coming with me?" And yeah. you know, <laughs> Harry Winston. Harry, Harry Winston was, supplied the, the diamonds and for Piggy split. and and Whoopi. They both had. You know, what was amazing is that you know the Piggy was on a stand. You know Frank was them, and then the two guards would be on both sides of her. On both, yeah. both sides of the puppets. They could never leave her side. It was, <laughs> yep. amazing. It was amazing. Yeah, but yes, so he Jerry, just disappeared. Jerry, what the Jerry, Jerry? I loved him doing that. That uh, that that really cool guy that whistled. You know the the whistler. Yeah, oh. and uh, the the announcer when he did the vulture, I love the oh. the vulture. And then he did the um, hey man, he did the uh, Dennis Hopper character when we had yes. Sandra Bullock on. Yes, he's like man, he was like it was so good. Hey, Jerry, hang on a second. Man. Wait a minute. Wait, Tyler is on the show yet he's also in the in the the comment area. He's having a conversation. Oh, we really? Him on to the show, yet he's still having a conversation. <laughs> On the on the comment thread, that's how oh, you can leave. That's how no, I just I, 
You can leave if you can't. I don't want to. I'm, I'm, right. I'm doubly engaged. I'm too right. screening it, Bill. All right. Okay. <laughs> I'll let you go. Um, but, uh, oh, but, but no, you know, my thing about um, Muppets Tonight with Frank, um, so I, I didn't have a lot of interaction at that point with Frank. Right. Really? It was, well, for, on, on dinosaurs, like he came a couple times to visit us and he gave me like the greatest note, which was to try and connect Earl's head and his body by like touching it occasionally, scratching the chin. Oh, wow. That's you know? cool. So he was like, try and connect those two things. And that it just started all to make sense after oh, that. Wow. Like, yes, Wait, where'd Kevin go? Him. Where'd Kevin go? Now I can see. <laughs> it's like, it's like Clifford. He looks like a completely different Kevin. Yes. Um, it's Kevin then, Klitsch. Oh, it's Professor Kevin. Yes. Uh, and then uh, Treasure Island, he only did the scene, um, the one scene with Tim, right? Hysterical. And you did the rest. Also, he uh, did a wonderful scene with 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 uh, with with, uh, with Steve with Kermit. You know, right? Explaining about you know, it was hysterical. It was very funny. yeah. Well, that was that was that same scene where then uh, Long John oh, yeah, arrived. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then he comes in. Yeah. And then hey, and hey. actually he did. Um, uh, the first thing I did, Muppet Classic Theater, he was in that, but I didn't really work with him a lot. Uh, well, so, so really, and also the reason tonight was it puppets. The reason why I was on his puppets, he was shooting. I'm pretty sure he was shooting Bowfinger at the time. And so oh, was, right. Yeah, so that's why I, I had to. But Muppets, eyes. but Muppets tonight was the first time I really got to spend some time yeah, working with him. So I was just, you know, sucking all that up and trying right. to like absorb how he worked. You know? Right. Hey guys, look at this. We've got an invitation. Friend of Leslie Carrara Rudolph, Fergie L. Philippe says, I don't know when I'll get a chance to offer this, but he's in the play Hamilton and he'd love to bring us to the show at some point. So we've got oh, love that, but they're not they're not they're not working. It's not happening. Right. Yet. Whenever they're it gets saying when it returns. Oh, oh Fergie. I'd love to do that. Wow. Look, yeah, that would be phenomenal. Please, Thank please. you. Please, man, please. Oh man. Please. You know, the, uh, well, wasn't he part of that amazing? Uh, like, I just, I, I, I hadn't seen it live, but I saw what it you, on Disney Plus. Disney Plus, it's phenomenal. It's beautiful. I, I, oh my God, I was just like my yes. jaw dropped. The, Isn't that the, the, the all the way up to the last moment, her, her last. I mean, it's just phenomenal that show. Have you seen it, Tyler? Mm -mm. Oh, what? It, you, oh my God, I, I, you know, again, I didn't see it live, but try and watch it. It is. Great. You know what on the thing Disney is? Plus too. It, I just can't. It's. I just can't get past the fact that Hamilton didn't really sing, so I can't buy it for no. one minute. But he did rap. Yeah, it's kind of a rap opera. Uh, I'll give it a shot. <laughs> right, Bob. It's a rap up. Bob does rap opera. Oh yeah. <clears throat> um. <laughs> You only get one shot. Do not miss your chance to pop because opportunity <laughs> comes once in a lifetime. He's doing eight mile. You got to lose yourself in the music the moment. You better never let it go. You get the idea. Go, man. Go. <laughs> That's great. I should clarify. I saw Hamilton live. I have not seen the video version yet. Oh, oh got it. Okay. And thank so you very you... much for the invitation. I would, I would love for awesome. someone else to be able to fill that seat that hasn't seen it. Let's go again. Okay. Go All right, okay. Let's just go. Let's just go. <laughs> uh, well, Jackson, you know, who, who plays George Washington in it. See, look, he says open invitation for you. All backstage tour. Look at us. Ooh. We're all love. going. Mm -hmm. I would love that. Thank you. That would be phenomenal. And to go with these idiots would be even better. <laughs> we'll be happy. All right. So I have to leave. Okay. You got to go. I've all right, buddy. Go. People are here. Places Thank you. Me. Thank you for doing I'm this. Have you back on for a show. A legit. No, I'm, glad, I'm glad to surprise you, Mr. Gene. And yeah. to be able to thank you in person for those, that book and then, then the other book that you're going to bring me. So that's great. I'll and Tyler, it's, been, it's been a pleasure. You know, please. It's been an honor to see you, mister. <laughs> All right. Thank All right. You for that, Thanks for that birthday shout out, too. That was wonderful. You're welcome, mm -hmm. sir. You're All more right. than welcome. Oh, oh yeah. Welcome. Oh, yeah. That birthday thing. My birthday <laughs> thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Video. I never got to see the whole thing. I want to see it. Birthday. I want to see everybody's. Yeah, well, well, Shannon's going to send it to everybody. Awesome. Oh, that'd be All great. Right. Let's do this again, shall we? <laughs> cool. Should I go too? And leave you too to your, your silliness? You yeah, get yeah, out of yeah. here. Oh, you kicked him out. Yeah, we told, we told him to go. Oh. He's, well, Tyler's going to be on the, on the uh, chat. You just watch. 
All right. Okay. Well, that was that was pretty cool. This has been a very loose, loosely structured show. You didn't even get to draw anything yet. All right. Go ahead. Start drawing. I'll try some other questions while you're doing that. Well, that was fun, right? I thought that really? was a little Thank surprise. you. That was cool. That was uh, cool. Mm -hmm. Crispini says, super fun, so much talent. I still laughing. Uh, let's see. Gave us an invite. That's pretty. Yeah, cool. how cool is that? I. Uh, let's see, Bill. Would you win a? Who would win a piano? This is from Anime Girl Twenty One. Who would win a piano duel, Rolf or Doctor Teeth? Hmm. Never considered hmm. that. Hmm. I wonder. Well, it depends. A duel. I think that would be a great skit. I don't know if they could lift them. <laughs> See what I did? I saw. You played on words there. Uh, I'm hysterical. Uh, <laughs> I hilarious. Oh, wait. Sorry. I was about to ask. Thank you, Fergie. Yes, please. <laughs> She's a lot of fun. You'll enjoy her. You'll want her there. Uh, let's see. That was a fun surprise. Uh, what else? Anybody? Who else? Who else? Who else? Uh, I'm giving you to the questions. Uh, anime game sixteen, Bill. What was it like to be on Family Feud? You know, it was a lot of fun. It was um, because there was no script, obviously, no planning, and uh, we were awful. <laughs> um, Who did you play did, against? We played the Dixie Chicks. That's right. And also um, Buck Owens was on their team. And sure. and uh, who's the guy that, that's married to um, Nicole Kidman? He's great. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the, the, the country singer. Um, Australian country singer. No. Oh, gosh. I'm watching her in uh, uh, To Die For. She's so good in that. What's um, his name? Oh, come on. Ke Kevin? Kenny? Ke Ke Kenny? That's terrible. No. No, it's not Kenny Chesney. It's somebody. Keith Urban. Thank Keith you, Keith Urban. Thank you, Joe John, John Cody. Thank you, John Keith Urban. It was great because it was all just in. You know, we're just answering. We're trying to play the game, and uh, and so we lost most of them except one, which was fun because the one that we, the one that we won, uh, I think Kermit and Bobo were the kind of the two at the end. You know, that do the the big, Stay you know, to around. win the money. Yeah, and it was all for charity, so that was awesome. My two favorite moments, I can say, that I remember that, that happened to me was um, there was a question, uh, name something that a baby doll does. And so I was in usually the position where I was like the fifth answer. So, you know, you get a couple right, and then you're always in that last position where all the good answers are gone and you've got to think of something. And um, so they were like blinking eyes. Yeah. You know, feed them. Hooray. Crawl. Yeah. And it got to Bobo and, uh, oh, it was Louie Anderson, by the way, who was great. And you talk like this <laughs> and you say, Bobo, John, what, uh, what is a baby? What can a baby doll do? And Bobo went, um, crap in their pants <laughs> and he and he started laughing and then he was like is it crap in your pants and he yelled <laughs> show me crap then, in your pants yeah and then the other one was um a green jelly bean flavor what's a green jelly bean flavor and it was instead of bobo i was doing johnny fiamma and so it went you know lime i was in the same position again lime apple you know and then it finally got to Johnny. It was the last answer. And, he, you know, if I didn't get it, we lost the thing. And I just didn't have anything. And so Johnny was like, uh, olive. <laughs> <laughs> but stay in character, too. So, so we lost. Yeah. Uh, right, but it was a go. lot of fun. Oh, look at that guy. Who's that? You, know, you have to tell us. It's Stanley. <laughs> Stanley. 
Stanley, he works for an insecticide company. I, I run the phones. I'm on the. I, I work the phones, and I also provide any sort of uh, insurance uh, claims. I work insurance claims, and I'm also the phone guy. Stanley. Stanley. Ta-da. <clears throat> oh, Jesse. Yes, Jesse, that is your drawing behind me. Yes, that's me with my martini. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you, Jesse. Jesse. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's find somebody who hasn't. Let's see. Yeah, Jennifer Graham. What has been the most awkward position you've been in as a puppeteer? Uh, turning down a job. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would have to say when we did things that go, I had to be in a stunt plane, uh, in, on the floor of a stunt plane with a pig. And it was up to me. Basically, they put the camera on the wing. So we set up the shot where the camera was on the wing of the plane shooting across. I was in the front part of the, it was a two seater. So the pilot was behind me and I would, and we made it look like that I was in the pilot seat by not showing the pilot behind me. And I had to be down on the floor. They took the seat out and, um, and I had the song. So I had to complete a song with the pig. And so it was up to me. So as long as it took me to do the song, is as long as I was going to be up in the air and the thing was going <laughs> and the only kind of air I had was there was a little hole that was to my left, uh, like a little vent hole. And so I would, I started to get nauseous cause I couldn't see a horizon. All right. I, I'm, I'm looking at a monitor. I can see the camera. So I'm looking down, I'm doing my character but I'm getting nauseous, so I'd have to go like this. <sighs> and try and get air out of the hole and then hit the play button and then do as much as I could and the thing going. So that was the most awkward position I think I've ever been in. Uh, How was that one? Pretty, that's, I always like to do that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Bill, was Big Mean Carl's voice based on Gilbert Gottfried? No, actually, that's interesting. Can't say it was. I wonder what it's based I don't even know what it's based on. I think it's based on being loud. I was trying to think of something that was just loud and annoying that would get on my nerves. <laughs> uh, and so I, I don't know. I don't know what it, I don't know. I'm trying to think of who it's maybe in some way it could have been based. I don't know. Could be. Could be Gilbert. He was fun to work with, actually. What did you work with him on? I forget. Muppets Tonight. It was brief. He was. Um, he won a contest to have dinner with Kermit. Uh -huh. <laughs> He's like a fan, an Uber fan that won. Uh -huh. He was very funny. Um, I, I got to sing with Gilbert once. I called in on one of his live call-in shows for his really great <clears throat> podcast. The the Amazing Colossal, Gilbert Gottfried's Amazing Colossal Podcast. So I mm. sang with him over the phone. <clears throat> quite a privilege. And he has, oh, this is kind of not to talking about myself, but if you, there's a documentary called Gilbert All About His Life, which is really good. It came out like maybe two years ago. And there's all this footage in his apartment. And at one point I gave him this, I think I may have been the first one to make, give him some fan art for the podcast. And they're showing the credenza in the living room with all of the family pictures. And right next to it in the frame is my drawing of Cesar Romero in the Joker makeup with his pants pulled down, having tangerine wedges thrown at his butt. <laughs> <laughs> Which is a rumor going around Hollywood. Uh -huh. This is Mark Vides. What do you do if some puppeteer has sweaty, smelly armpits? You uh, endure it. <laughs> Basically, you just yeah. uh, avoid it or endure it or both. Um, but rarely do they, to be honest. Um, we all are pretty, uh, uh, you know, 
we, we all kind of are considerate about that stuff because we do work so closely together. We know if it's not, we, we make sure it's not us, right? Where that's like, okay, we don't want to hurt, offend anybody. So what about breath? Same thing. Same thing. Gum. I'm always chewing gum. You know what I always think of when I think of something like that, like an actor uh, being really courteous about his breath. I remember yeah. seeing a behind the scenes documentary on the making of The Shining. Hmm. And there's footage of oh. Jack Nicholson in his trailer. And yeah. and remember this, uh, what was, who was the name? Tim, was it Tim who was a production manager on Muppets from Space? Tim Hill. No, not Tim oh, Hill, no. sorry. Maybe I know what you mean. Tim. Anyway, he was a chef back then, and, and Jack is talking to him on the phone, giving him his order. Anyway, before Jack goes to the set, he goes and, and brushes his teeth in the sink. And I just right. I always yeah. think of that. I don't know. I know you here's one. Here's one from Sean Horace. Bill, what was it like appearing on the Netflix show Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt? Uh, it was fun. It was great. I hadn't done anything as myself in a long time. I was surprised that I actually got it <laughs> to do it. It came out of nowhere, the request, if I was interested. Um, I think it it actually went through, I don't know how many people auditioned for it before me, but I think Joey Mazzarino maybe recommended me to Tina Fey, and I had worked with Tina on, um, what's it called? America's Most Wanted. No, America's Most Wanted. Muppets Most Happy Wanted. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, oh, it's Angelina Jolie. <laughs> I can't get the right angle on this thing. Yeah. All right, any voice uh, or anything? Mm, I don't think I have one. I like it's Angelina Jolie, though. I wasn't even trying for that, but. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. All right, mm. do one more. Maybe she doesn't speak. Yeah, true. She doesn't have to. She just says it all with her eyes. That's it. She's all eyes. Uh, but what was good? Oh, <clears throat> sorry. Um, so it was fun to be myself. When I auditioned, I went out and I bought a ponytail from a wig store and a beard. And I, because I felt like it was that, like it was written. I think one of the notes in it, like the, one of the descriptions was, um, it was zoot like. Um, so, so I, I wanted to do this kind of, you know, thinking I'm a raspy kind of guy, you know. And then, of course, it was supposed to be, you know, like a hippie version of, of or a hippie bad version of, you know, Jim or somebody within the Muppets and, you know, this, age, this older puppeteer guy. Um, but it was fun because the, the set is literally like, and I've, I said this before, that if you go on a Muppet set, you know what, it's already 5 o'clock. Um, <clears throat> if you go on a Muppet set, People will generally can't think of anyone who kind of hasn't over the years tell you what an amazing experience it is because it's very uh, relaxed. It's very um, welcoming and collaborative and people feel, feel very comfortable on the set. There's not a lot of, you know, it doesn't feel strict or constricted. It feels like there's play happening and, and even though we're working very hard, it's all very kind of open. And if you're willing to, you know, stick to some of the rules about being quiet while we're shooting and, you know, those sorts of things and not taking pictures or whatever you, the rules are, it's a very fun set. And, and Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt was exactly the same. It's a very comfortable set to be on. They're wonderful people, very collaborative. Um, so I loved it. I loved being around, seeing, being around Tina again and, the writers, uh, Robert I Carlock. Do, and I got to talk to her with Philly accents. That's right. Well, that's my, when we did uh, Muppets Most Wanted, she and I kept doing Philly accents with each other. And so we got to carry that on. And then Gene <laughs> and Ben came to visit and went with me to the, the last thing that I shot. So that was fun to have yeah, you guys last, there. The movie version one or that. Is it considered a movie version? I mean, it was like a. Oh, right. Place. Yeah. Bill, do you know if Bobo's and Pepe's original puppets are in good shape? There's, I still use them. And they are. Same Bobo. There's never been another Bobo. There's only one. Uh, and there's two Pepe's and a stunt Pepe. So there's two, there's two pup, puppet, puppetable Pepe's. Say that three times fast. 
uh, and uh, one stunt Pepe. Uh, but the originals I still use. I, if, if, as a matter of fact, I try to use him more than the other. Um, and that's the same Bobo. Interesting question. Thank you. Uh, let's find something for you, Eugene. Jesse asked me who some of my drawing influences are. Oh, good. Um, there's, you know, there's so many, but I remember some of the earliest ones being Mort Drucker, who was the movie satire illustrator for Mad Magazine, and Von Bode, who was, uh, can you hear the dog upstairs? Uh, Von Bode, who was an underground uh, comic artist in the 70s. I always think of them first. There's some kind of a blend between those two. And uh, I don't know. Those are the ones I think of the most. Do you know them, da Vinci? Jesse? Da Vinci, well, <laughs> I wish. But he was he was more of an influence on me as far as what I wanted to, my lifestyle to be. You know, some mm. kind of a Renaissance person who got out of bed. I always remember there was a TV movie about him and he had basically a big studio apartment in the, in the movie. So the bed was in the same room as the kitchen and the, and his workspace and he would jump out of bed and get to work. And I always loved that. Between that and the movie Blow Up with David Hemmings where I first thought, wouldn't it be cool to have a career where in the middle of the day you can just get in your car and go somewhere to do some research or explore something. And in Blow Up, he was a photographer and he would just jump in the car, he'd have a camera in the, in the glove box and the day was his, but it was still productive and he was, you know, and he still made a living at it. So that always stuck with me too, which was the goal, you know, my goal as far as career goes. Well, which is what our, doing. our lovely viewers, and one in particular has brought us around full circle because I think it's about time we start to wrap it up. Here's, here's the last character. Let's, and then we have to talk. We have to mention our our show thing. We, we haven't look talked at about. what look at what Anime Girl Twenty One wants to know. Where, where'd she go? I have it right there. It's up on the screen. Oh, oh, oh. okay, good. Let's do this character. Hmm. I can't see his, he has one eye? No, two. One, two. I see an eyebrow, I can't see his eye. Well, the, his eyes are closed. Oh, I'm sorry, okay. I was thinking one, because one was darker underneath, it looked like, oh. <laughs> um, um, I just feel like he breathes a lot. Through his nose. Yeah. It just uh, if we could if if uh, if we could just um, uh, uh, does anybody play um uh, what's it called um uh, uh, Minecraft <laughs> maybe we could play Minecraft there's new hey there's a new there's a new Minecraft character on um um uh my Super Mario Brothers just came out today <laughs> all right I need to find uh. I need to find something. So just take one more question and we'll talk about what's all our right. One surprise. more question. One Shall more we? question. Uh, I, okay. Bradley Freeman Jr. I need motivation to do my homework. Can you guys help me out? Get do your homework. Computer. Yeah. Do your homework. Yeah. Get the work. What the hell? What else? Well, there's, there's any more motivation than that. What do you want me to do? So you a blanket? I'm going to come over and do it for you. Yeah. What do you want to, what do you want us to post it up here so we can do it? Go do your homework. Yeah. Look at us. All right. Wait, parents. All right. Let me uh, get rid of this. Real Bill, quick. What advice would you give to young puppeteers like myself? Run. <laughs> <laughs> well, honestly, what would I give? Uh, I would say work on your characters and work on your technique and then just keep working them because once you try what if you have really strong character work that you're comfortable with acting, right? You've learned about acting, learn about acting skills, learn about performing, learn about how to create a character. Work that as yourself. 
Don't have to always, you don't have to necessarily do it with the puppet. Be characters as yourself. When you get comfortable with that, grab the puppet. Work on the technique. Don't worry about characters so much. Work, worry about the technique. Separate them out first and then start to blend them together. Start to overlap. Start to, you know, you've got to have both kind of strong to a certain degree to then bring together. And when you do that, you're going to see probably when you're doing your technique, your character is going to get weaker. So it's just about practice, 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 practice. But you can always do them separately. You don't have to feel like you have to do a character while you're puppeteering. You can do a character as yourself, tape yourself, have fun. Bing, bang, bong. All right. Listen, gang. Listen carefully, gang. Got enough people watching to uh, come on. get some interest. We know there's a lot of talent out there, right? Right, Bill? We're going to find out. <laughs> well, here's what we want to do. Live on Sunday, October the 18th, the Beretta Brothers present America's Got Muppet Talent. What's that you say? A talent competition featuring you, the viewers. Yes. Here's what you to do. You post a 30-second sample of your talent on the Beretta Brothers Facebook page, the Facebook page, not 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 neither one of our, our personal not page. Not the website, but on the, yeah, the Beretta Brothers Facebook page. That's right. right. And from those posts, we're gonna pick the competitors. And here's a few rules you've got to uh, pay Follow. attention to. And I'm gonna post this, by the way, too. So if you forget any of this, it'll uh, we'll put it out there. The do's. Perform a Muppet-related song or routine. Sing it, dance it, play an instrument, do a monologue, perform a multi-voice dialogue. The don'ts, no puppets or puppeteering. This is about you. You cannot use a pre-recorded backing track. That means no licensed or copywritten music track to sing along to. You can even do it a cappella, or you can just Play it on the guitar and sing. Play it on. For the example, piano. for example, I would love to see Robert Goulet do. You know, it's not easy being green. Maybe. True. I would. You can. You can dance. You can pick. You know, a Muppet routine where there's a dance or something, and and do that. Think originally. Don't you know? Don't just. Uh, just think original. Yeah, that's that's yeah. what's going to make you stand out and help you become a competitor. And then on the live show. Uh, we didn't really decide how many contestants we're going to have on there, but we'll we'll let you know about that. But, yeah, we'll, uh, we're going to pick, but please send me your uh, – oh, Fergie says game on. Right on. Very oh, good. no. Yeah. Yes. Up against the the, the – uh, what's it called? The um, thing is set high. The uh, What's it called? The bar. The, the bar is set high. Uh, uh, here's some uh, for you real quick. Sorry, wait. Tyler, Tyler, uh, Bob Goulet just noticed that we both adjusted our glasses at the same time. He thinks we're adorable. <laughs> Thanks, Bob. Thanks. I was waiting for you to follow me on that. Oh, sorry. All right. But go ahead. Uh, tips for you guys. Use a good microphone if you have one, but you, it might be best to just use your phone to record it because those microphones and cameras seem to be better than just using a laptop or a, a desktop. Yeah, just, just do it and send well, it. They, they just need to be aware that sometimes if you're playing a guitar on, you know, on a certain kind of microphone, it doesn't come through properly. So do a couple tests. Give it your best shot. America's but, got a talent. But have fun. You can sing a cappella. You can play a can of peas. Uh, whatever you want to do. Just have fun, send it in, and uh, we're going to have our judges. Uh, uh, we'll have three judges judging the contest. And, uh, yeah, but like Gene said, he's going to post the details, and uh, it'll be fun. So there you go. America's weeks, got Yeah, two weeks Muppet from today. Yes, we'll have America's a show. And then we're going to have the viewers pick the winners. We're not going to pick the winners. The viewers are going right. to pick the winners over the course of the following week, I guess. We haven't just yeah. – so the judges are just going to judge, be really judgy, and then the viewers are going to pick. Right? Sound good, people? Are you Narthex? Gang? Yes, here, for example, I would like this. Narthex, yes, you certainly could. If it's in the style of a Muppet? 
we'll see what happens. Maybe, maybe it'll, yeah, it could, could be the winner. I say go for it. Whatever it is, go for it. No puppets or puppeteering, but what sort of judges? It would be uh, Gene and I, and we have a special guest judge that we're, we'll let you know about. All we right. Simon. <laughs> All right. Maybe ben. Sophia Vergara. Mm hmm. And, uh, Polly, what's his name? Not Polly, Howie. Polly, <laughs> Polly Purebred from uh, Underdog. <laughs> All right. Polly Mandel. Yes, right. Jesse. Impressions. You can do it. Yes. Just you just can't use copywritten <clears throat> material. You can't use songs that are licensed. And you have to. It all has to be original. Anything you guys do, it's original. You. Okay. I just saw myself on playback. Hop away from the camera like a kangaroo. <laughs> oh, you should. Who me or you? Well, I can't. I when I you left, could? I hopped off. You know, oh. Like a kangaroo. Oh, I see. All right. All right. All right. Bye. See ya.